Good morning, I'm Scott Good, Director of Critical Facilities for GKK Works. Today I'm working with Bill Woodbury, Chief Engineering Officer at Elliptical Mobile Solutions, and Cliff Conkle, Engineer at United Metal Products. We are here at United Metal Products Chill Pack Plant in Tempe, Arizona, where GKK Works is conducting independent alpha testing to validate the capabilities of EMS's newest micromodular data center, the Razor HD. Because the Razor HD is a new product, the following criteria were established for the alpha testing. Ease of transport and installation to an evaporative cooler system. The ability to run the unit under normal loads with 64 degree water. The ability to simulate the inrush of full load to 20 kW to capture time to recover operating temperatures. And the ability to run the unit under load to determine the unit's capacity for higher water temperatures. All of the testing is being performed outside in Phoenix, Arizona, where the current temperature is 101 degrees Fahrenheit. The initial testing requires a water system. Supply and return lines are being installed in a configuration concurrent with container installation. Power is being delivered to the equipment using a 36 kW generator and power cables that connect to the equipment through weather heads at the top of the Razor unit. We will be using a 23 kW load bank which is situated in the racks where the servers would traditionally be placed. During our testing we will be validating the raise in temperature between the initial start of the exchangers and 20 kW, validating all connections to the exchanger electrically and mechanically, taking a zero reading in all exchanger fans while running, and initiating loads to the Razor HD in increments of 2 kW and taking internal temperature readings. Secondary testing will include validating full load capabilities at 23 kW. Running all load banks at full load for 24 hours and recording temperatures at 30 minute increments. This is where the load bank is on. Here. It's day two and we've wrapped up our testing. Our initial testing not only met our expectations but exceeded them in several important ways. It revealed that Razor HD is capable of cooling IT equipment using water temperatures up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit due to EMS's proprietary closed loop cooling methodologies. This is a major breakthrough as chillers used to cool IT equipment represent 33 to 40 percent of a data center's energy cost. The Razor HD provides solutions for either reapportioning or eliminating systems altogether for the chillers while establishing a very low PUE. I'm confident that given an IT load to test, we could see PUEs of 1.03 or better. The findings are also important because a higher inlet water temperature maximizes the number of hours in which free cooling is possible. Additionally, heat rejection efficiencies increase at a higher supply water temperature. It's also important to note that at no time during the testing did the load banks experience any kind of fault or alarms. So why is this important? Today's data centers are very demanding in terms of the heat loads generated by high density equipment and the energy required to keep the equipment cool. Traditional approaches are no longer able to meet these demands. Clients are looking for solutions that are flexible, reliable, energy efficient, and cost effective. Our alpha testing has demonstrated that the Razor HD has a high probability of being the most easy to implement micromodular containerized data center product on the market today. EMS staff members are loading the unit onto the trailer where it will be transported back to their headquarters. Thank you for your time today. To view the white paper of our testing, you can visit 
www.ellipticalmobilesolutions.com forward slash resources.